Question 13. Determine the volume of a 123 inch by 436 inch by 49 inch rectangular prism in cubic yards. Round to the nearest hundredth. So just like number 12, we can do this question in two different ways. So we can either find the volume and then convert it, or we can find the dimensions in yards and then convert that. So I'll do it both ways here. And I'll start on the left just by finding my volume and then converting that. So to find the volume of a rectangular prism, we can do length times width times height or base times height times length. They mean the same thing. So I'll just end up needing to multiply 123 by 436 by 49. And it's going to end up being a fairly big number. So we have 2,627,772. And seeing as we're still in inches, this would be cubic inches. So now what I can do is I can convert this big number from cubic inches to cubic yards. So I'll rewrite it here and use the fraction method to help me out. And so if I want to get rid of inches, they're being multiplied right now. So I'm going to divide them, but not just inches, inches cubed. And I want to go from inches into yards. So I'll put those on top here. Now, if you think back to your conversion factors here, you might remember that in one foot, there's 12 inches. And in three feet, there is one yard. So I'm going to combine those two into one. If I do 12 times three, that means there's 36 inches in one yard. So in one yard, there's 36 inches. But if I'm dealing with cubic things, that means that the exponents don't just apply to the units, they also need to apply to the numbers. So I'll have one cubed and 36 cubed. One cubed though, don't really need to write that because one to the power of anything is just one. But 36 to the power of three, well that's 36 times 36 times 36. So that definitely will change. So if I do 36 cubed, that's gonna get me to this number here in the calculator. So I'm gonna replace 36 cubed with that, 46,656. So cubic inches cancel cubic inches, and I have my unit in cubic yards, which is what I want. So I'll need to take that 2 million number and divide it by the 46,000 number. And that gets me to a long decimal. But it's one that I can round. Questions ask me to round to the nearest hundredth. So my volume will be 56.322, but 322 rounds down to 32. So my volume will be 56.32 cubic yards. So that's one way to do the question to find the volume and then do the conversion there. But I could also find the new dimensions in yards and then multiply them together to get to my volume. So I'll use the same conversion factor here as I did before. So I'll just move it over. In one yard, there are 36 inches. So I'll start with 123 inches. If I want to get rid of inches, I'll put them in the bottom of my fraction, and there's 36 inches in one yard. So inches cancel inches. I'll do 123 divided by 36. And I'm going to be getting some long decimals here, but I'm not going to round them. I'll just round my final answer, just so it's a bit more precise. So now I'll convert 436 inches into yards. So I'll be dividing by 36. And then same idea for 49 inches. And 49 divided by 36 gets me to 1.361 repeating. So if you do the conversions first, all that's left is to multiply these three numbers together to find the volume. 
So depending on which way you prefer doing it, you might save yourself a bit of time. Go from bottom to top here. And if you compare the numbers that we got from before and now, you'll find they're exactly the same. So we get that 56.322, which if we round to the nearest hundredth, it'll just round back down to 56.32. And don't forget the unit, we're in cubic yards. So once again, whichever way you want to do it, you'll get to the same.